Hello, and welcome back to Front Page News. Earlier this week, Karen Hogan, the Auditor General, issued a statement confirming what conservatives have been saying since 2020, which is liberals' reckless spending owing to a lack of controls has led to the current frustrating situation in regard to the cost of living across Canada. Apparently, a minimum of $27.4 billion in suspicious COVID-19 benefit payments need to be investigated, according to Canada's Auditor General, because the Trudeau government did not manage the aid programs efficiently, and it is likely that the government will fail to recover significant amounts in overpayments. According to the new report, this is also in addition to the $4.6 billion in confirmed government overpayments that were solely in double-dipping applications for the various COVID-19 aid programs that were launched within the first few months of the pandemic. Although the 92 pages long study initially lauds the achievement of the federal government in establishing six relief programs, which disperse a total of $210 billion to individuals and enterprises as a swift response to the COVID-19 outbreak and the subsequent lockdowns, it is still severely critical of the handling of the programs by the government. Karen Hogan stated in the special report that she submitted to Parliament about COVID spending that despite the fact that the Liberal government was able to put forward some programs at record speed, there was a significant amount of unnecessary waste along the line. According to the findings of the report, the Canada Revenue Agency and Employment and Social Development Canada did not manage the selected COVID-19 programs efficiently, given the significant amount paid to ineligible recipients, the limited adjustments as programs were extended, and the slow progress on post-payment verifications. Money was sent to persons who were incarcerated, people who did not live in Canada, and even those who had already passed away. Billions of dollars were spent on vaccines that were never utilized. And among the individuals who received money that they shouldn't have, $1.6 billion went to people who had left their jobs, $6.6 .6 million went to people who had been in jail the entire time, $3.3 million went to people who did not live in Canada while $1.2 million went to people who were already dead. In addition, companies that claimed to have lost a particular amount of money in order to qualify for benefits, but who reported different amounts on their GST or HST claims were given a total of $15.5 billion in compensation from the Trudeau government. At the same time, Hogan's audit report also discovered that the Trudeau government had paid for 169 million vaccines, but as of May, only slightly more than 84 million had been given to patients. Another 32.5 million doses, valued at $1 billion, were sent to other nations, while the remaining doses have either already been used up or expired or are in the process of expiring. Although that's billions of dollars worth of vaccines, of course, one could be willing to give the government a break on this front even though it's not ideal. In the event that a pandemic strikes once every hundred years, it's better to be overprepared and have too much to pay for than to be underprepared and not have enough. But then, the waste that is caused by the various financial support programs is a completely separate issue. Hogan noted the lack of rigor applied to post-payment verifications and collection actions by the Trudeau Liberals. He added that some of these initiatives continued for much over a year, and throughout that time, any early errors that occurred should have been identified and fixed, but unfortunately, none of that occurred. Meanwhile, throughout the pandemic, whenever the Trudeau Liberals were questioned about faults in the system or overpayments, they consistently responded by denying any difficulties, boasting loudly that they had Canada's best interests at heart, but in a ridiculous manner. It turned out that it was a farce. Similarly, according to the reports of the Auditor General, the combined after-tax income of all income brackets saw an increase of 5% between 2019 and 2020 as a direct result of government assistance programs. This increase ranged from 16% for those making $25,000 or less per year to 7% for those earning $71,000 or less per year to 2% for those making up to $162,000. Earned income fell by a median amount of $1,600, but the Trudeau government more than made up for that loss. However, the median amount of government handouts increased all the way up to $16,400 from $8,200. Apparently, you could tell that some aid was definitely required, while others were utilized as vote-buying schemes wasted in taxpayers' billions. And it's just a shame Trudeau gave prominence to the latter so much. Meanwhile, in the wake of the report, conservatives have criticized the lack of openness or an adequate plan to rectify the lack of control by the Trudeau Liberal government over its pandemic program payments, arguing that it is unacceptable. Conservative Parliament member Adam Chambers has called on the federal government to present a plan that shows that it is going to take the new report seriously and put in the controls that the Attorney General is also calling for. During her press conference, Hogan stated that her advice is that if the Liberal government wants to make a decision about recovery, one that might either forgive payments or be empathetic, 
then it is something they should be clear and transparent on with Canadians. Got a comment? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this. Also, share with as many people as possible. And keep in mind that we are always determined to boldly expose the hypocrisy of the left wing and mainstream media while keeping you updated and conscious. See you next upload. Thanks for watching.